So our second story is about Mali, uh, one of the countries in the Sahel that has been engulfed by uh, jihadist groups in the area. So I want us to go through this article um, to really understand what is going on in that country. So the headline reads, UN peacekeepers leave Mali in a hurry and under threat that the United Nations peacekeepers in Mali have left the country in a hurry because of uh, threats they were facing. So let's see. The UN mission pushed out of Mali has been forced by the action of the ruling junta to rush its departure and sabotage the equipment left behind before risking the lives of its peacekeepers for lack of flight permits. The MINUSMA was pushed out after the junta in power since 2020 called for its withdrawal in June, proclaiming the failure of the mission and denouncing its alleged instrumentalization of the human rights issue. Here is an overview of this large-scale and risky operation, which brings to an end 10 years of efforts to try to stabilize a country pledged by jihadism and a deep multidimensional crisis. Tensions on all sides, the MINUSMA, whose strength has hovered around 15,000 soldiers and police officers, and whose more than 1,800 members have been killed in hostile acts, is supposed to have left by 31st December. The various armed actors fighting for control of the territory in the north are seeking to take advantage of the evacuation of the MINUSMA camps. The army is rushing to take them back. The predominantly Torres separatist groups who oppose the army have resumed hostilities against it. The Al Qaeda affiliated group has stepped up its attack. The MINUSMA is therefore withdrawing in the midst of the military escalation, made more dangerous by what are perceived to be restrictions imposed by the authorities on the ability to maneuver. So the United Nations peacekeeping force in Mali has pulled out of the country and they blame the Malian government for not letting them do what they are supposed to do in the country. But if we were to take that, okay, consider this. This peacekeeping mission has been in Mali for the past 10 years, okay. But the situation in Mali has only gotten worse. So they are there. They told us they are fighting jihadist separatists in the north of the country. And their mandate is to eradicate these jihadist separatists. That's what they told us. That's what brought them there. But on the ground is a totally different story. We cannot see what they've achieved so far. They are unable to push back these jihadist groups. They are unable to eliminate them. So, if you were the one, what would you do? Put yourself in the position of the Malian authorities. We have you guys in the country in the name of fighting jihadists. But yet still, we are not going anywhere. The security that you promised to bring back to the country, we can't see it. So why keep you? Why keep you? It's but normal to ask them to go. Because like I have said before, right? No one should keep an unproductive employee. If someone said they are here to do something, we must see progress being made. If they cannot do what, is, what we consider enough, they cannot deliver on what they promise to do, then there's no point keeping them. They have to go. They have to go. That is what I clearly believe, that if someone cannot do what they said they would do, then they have to go. There's no point keeping them. So Minisma have left the country. And let's see how the Malian authority will tackle 
this insecurity crisis facing the country. So let's give them some time and see. Who knows? Maybe their approach would just be what bring back peace and security in the country. But you guys out there, do you think that the withdrawal of the peacekeeping force in Mali has created a security vacuum that will be difficult for the Malian armed force to fill in? Share your thoughts and opinions with us in the comment section below because like, oh, we really love hearing what you have to say. And please do not forget to like this video, share this video, follow our Facebook page, and most importantly, subscribe to this channel because they did of good we and what you're doing just now. Help us a lot and we shall forever be grateful to you. So thank you very much for doing just that. And like always, see you in the next one.